Hey there, I was going to do a quick review of tech items on Kickstarter and one thing I've discovered is that Kickstarter has appeared to have become shy. Mostly about tech items and its own name. Check this out. The Kickstarter logo is now really, really small on the page. I know this is putting the products first and foremost, but they don't no longer open with design and tech. They now open with comic and illustrations. And if you go into design and tech, there's a lot of design and almost no technology almost no technology i've already had a look through and i picked some that i think express why there's almost no technology is that kickstarter appears to be failing kickstarter is closing down it's now about designing it's about art projects and maybe this is a move forward for kickstarter because the technology products they had on there were shocking. They were amazingly shocking and they were really bad. I mean, this is a design product. There's not really any new technology here. And that's the way of a lot of them. So I'm going to start with the bulb. I think it looks pretty cool. And let's have a quick look at it. I'm not going to play the video, but I'm glad this one got funded. It looks really cool. And I don't know why they needed to hold it up, hoist it up on a helicopter. That does seem a bit irrelevant. Um, they needed to take it into the stratosphere on a balloon because reasons. And why arc? You know. So yeah, it's just an LED light bulb. It it's going to cost a fortune as well. And look, thirty nine pound dollars for a light bulb. Wow. Um, I've got one here. Hold on, let me just grab it. This I got from the pound store. It was a pound. It's an LED light bulb. A pound is about one buck twenty. You don't need to spend, look, one pound. You don't need to spend uh, 29 bucks on a light bulb. Good going. The next one I want to look at is actually something which I think the designers have completely misunderstood electrical safety. You're gonna find this one quite amusing. Here we go. It is called the living, living, live, not living, living shower redesigned in a smart way and okay anybody so this is connected via bluetooth to the top bit so this bottom bit here is connected to this bit by so this is just a bluetooth interactive panel you could use your phone as they point out further in the project it's this top bit that worries me because it is heating the water above your head in what it calls the most efficient way Hmm, anybody gonna guess what this reminds me of? It reminds me of a Latin American thing called a suicide shower head, where they electric, electro-inductively heat the water at, just before it falls on you. It's an incredibly dangerous way of doing it because you're bringing the electrical wiring above a person stood in water. You're bringing the electrical wiring above a person stood in water. It's one of the most dangerous ways to create a shower head. There are people on YouTube who have already done videos on the shower head. I can't believe this design is on YouTube. Uh, I'm not on YouTube. I can't believe this design is on Kickstarter. You wouldn't be able to fit this in a UK bathroom. Having the heating element in the bathroom it requires it to be earthed, requires it to be housed in plastic. Um, it requires it to be a certain distance. There requires to be a, flat, uh, a plastic pipe between that and the heating unit. There's all sorts of additional laws governing why this would never get into a UK bathroom. It might even be breaking the law to fit it there. Yeah, let's talk about showers. You're heating the water here. That's the biggest fail. If it was just mixing the water there, I'd be down with it. I'd... I don't think Amazon or Google are going to want this product connected to them. It is dangerous as hell. It is shocking this thing even exists. And look at some of this. Look, look at some of these designs. I mean, geez. If we're talking about a mixer tap <coughs> up here, if this is just a mixer, but it's not, it's a heater. If it's a mixer tap, that's fine. But if that thing at the top is a heating element, which most people are going to be afraid it is, you've picked, it's really, 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 really bad. Okay, if it's a mixer, fine, 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 fine. But on the odd chance that it's a it's an inductive heater, then you have problems. If it, if it's a water resistant 
heater that's conducting electricity through the water to heat it which whereas being quite inefficient is also incredibly dangerous i would really avoid this product i'm not saying it is these are just my opinions and to be perfectly honest i would be afraid of anything which had any wiring going above the water any wiring i would mains voltage is probably going to be illegal but any other wiring i'd still be a little concerned now moving on this one's fantastic look <laughs> servo shock 2 servo controller with ps4 controller this is an adreno school or a level c de technology and design project not a kickstarter project so you do that and they you use the controller and they move click clunk 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 four servos mapped i mean what's the point it i I can understand what it could be used for, a remote control car, a radio controlled plane, something like that, but why do they, I, this is one of those things that ends up on Kickstarter, you just think, why? This is a PS4 controller, and this is an Adreno with a USB and something, this is a school project. How much is it going to cost? $55. It, it, it's not going to come with a PS4 controller at that price. It's going to be twice the price. I mean, those servos, that wire and that Adreno kit with that little nub there, you're speaking, probably going to be like, mm, about 39 quid. That's about 20 quid's worth of kit. It's just paying a lot for nothing. Moving on, you know, you know, Nintendo came up with their brand new thing with a cardboard keyboard thing. Somebody, <clears throat> somebody ran out, made this Kickstarter product and got it straight onto here the day after five days ago that thing came out and look 60 day lead time 54 days 56 days to go it's been up for four days 52 backers and it is never making that 13,000 pounds it is not using anything intelligent it is just a little breadboard with little switches underneath it with a cardboard keyboard it says DIY it's not a kids project <clears throat> it's you know unfold them out and put them on silicon contacts it's it's been shoved together really quickly i mean look at this the, the design it, yeah people have drawn on it i mean you've, you've smacked this together because you've seen nintendo stuff and you've shoved it on kickstarter as quickly as possible or you've had this already and you've shoved it on quickstarter and quickstarter is being used as a promotional platform not as a let's get the funding together. Because making this breadboard and sorting all of this out for mass production and this cardboard cutting, it's gonna cost you more than that. This is just shoving something on Kickstarter because it's popular at the moment. What? A glass you can use for cocktails and whiskey. I've got a load of these in the cupboard. They're just glasses. The best the glass retains temperature very well. It's just a glass with a hollow bit inside it. You put a large ice ball in it and I, I don't get it. Ice ball ready. No condensation. Who cares if you get condensation when drinking? It's a design product. This is not technology. This is just a two layer glass. I, I, I see these in Ikea. Moving on. This camera, the photo, the promotional photo of this 360 degree camera you wear on your neck has a promotional photo with the exact reason why this product isn't going to work. His hair's in the way. His clothes are going to be in the way. His chin's going to be in the way. His hair's in the way. It's not a true first person view. Stick something on top of someone's head because you can see all the way round and the horizon of their head is a very small portion of the picture. In fact, skiing videos with 360 degree cameras, put it on the head, not round the neck because when you put your arms up in the air, it doesn't get in the way of the shot. It's not a first person view. This is a really bad idea. Even they've tried to tie her hair up as much as possible, that's still going to be in the way of like 30% of that 360 degree shot. So I mean, it's just a waste of two full HD cameras at the back, 
a full uh, another camera down there and this picture is going to be really distorted because the cameras aren't in line they've already got this thing they're already selling it this is again a sales pitch this is not a we'll make this there won't be any stretch goals they have these already the fit 360 for wearing you know camera wow camera wow camera Share your 360 degree views. So many reasons why this won't work. Hey Max. So many reasons. And moving on, this is this is my favorite one. The amount of drone projects that start here, get their backing, and then never deliver to, deliver to anybody is amazing. But I know the machine and tooling for this drone costs more than that. They've got 10 times their backing but this little drone have you seen how expensive it is you can join the community for two dollars three hundred dollars for this drone okay these tracking follow features have never worked on anyone i've ever seen this they're selling the camera basically this they're selling a small camera and they're saying it's a 4k camera weighs about the same as a smartphone 200 grams is too heavy for a camera on a drone. This is probably never... I think the backers of this are never, ever going to see their product. I mean, they have videos of it working. But it looks like an out-of-the-box drone has been had a plastic printer kit added to it. And they never show it flying for more than 40 seconds. It's got a little LED on it. And they've, they're saying they're doing targeting. Now, this is software targeting. This is running on his phone, not running on the device. This is the phone controlling the drone, not the drone having some advanced electronics. That needs to be very, very clear to people. And look. Yeah, the drone is following him. It's not difficult software to write, but it's no longer pointing at him. They adjusted the angle of the, cam angle of the camera there to make it look like it was pointing at him. 60 FPS is not slow-mo, even at 4K. That's a standard GoPro. Standard this generation GoPro at 4K. Oh no, it might be the black edition of 60 frames. 30 frames is the standard, but 4K 60 frames is not fast. And look, there is a marked difference between the way this thing looks and the one that he was holding. So it's just a 4K camera you can mount on your bike or put here or put there so it's about the same price as a gopro but just doesn't appear to work as well sorry i stuck my finger on my nose there didn't i and the last thing on here wow a voice assistant that costs more than an amazon echo well or google home the open answer you mean it doesn't have a big company backing it doesn't have a particularly good thing oh it's got a screen wow a little screen Essentially, I think what they've done here is they've, for this prototype, they have shoved an Android mobile phone into a case. Um, looking at it, it's an Android mobile phone shoved into a case with two speakers behind it. They reckon they'll be shipping it October to January next this year. I reckon you could shove a, you know, it's not gonna. It, I don't think it should take that long to manufacture. Mycroft. They call their name company that because it sounds like Microsoft. Anyway, moving on. Let's. Oh, we got a little video. Let's see what they say. My name is Nate Tomasi with Mycroft AI. Here to show you a few of the skills we're working on for the Mark II device. Skills. Skills. Surely technology. Mycroft Play 90s music. Play 90s station on Pandora. Yeah, you've reprogrammed that, haven't you? Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Um. I think the conclusion of this video is that normally when I go in here, I find lots of crazy technology products. They've all been cleansed from this website. Not a bad thing. It's a good thing. If the days of Kickstarter, electronic technology, mumbo jumbo are over, that's fantastic. There are still some really dangerous looking products. Like 
I don't, if that shower is just a mixer at the top there, it's still going to have servos in it. It's still going to need electrical supply. It's still dangerous. It's the reason you do not get head mounted servo controls on shower is for a very good reason. So I, I self edited the swear word there. It's because you don't want a person in close proximity to electrical cabling connected to the mains by any form in a shower. The reason they call the Latin American thing a suicide shower head is because it kills people and getting into one of those is like committing suicide. Not as committing suicide, I'm not advocating suicide, I'm just reading the reason it's called that is people have died from them because people receive electric shocks when you have water and electricity together. There's a lot of films where this happens in and there's a lot of real life incidents where people's houses get flooded and they get electrocuted. There is a lot of time and money spent ensuring that houses and bathrooms are insulated from electrocuting people via trip switches, via clever design and via rules which don't allow light switches to even have a mechanical switch connected to the mains that the person can touch. There has to be either a piece of string or the switch has to have several layers of mechanical distance from the, uh, from the switch. It's very important that people follow these rules. And the other stuff that's on here None of it's really offensive. I would say the most offensive one is the really expensive Amazon ripoff that's just going to have a screen on it. That's all. The Echo the Echo's pretty good. The Google's pretty good. They're both under $200. Why buy this thing? Thank you very much. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I think this will be the last time I do a video on a, a list of Kickstarter stuff, although I only do them about once a year because... They've sanitized it. They appear to be embarrassed about their brand. Who knows how long they'll be around at this point. Thanks very much, and thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Man, did I do this thing in a single take? It's going to be shit.